Black Souls is a game for 1 to 6 players and takes about 45 minutes to an hour. It is played in two phases, the design phase followed by the gameplay phase. In the design phase, players will create their game levels by forming 12 tiles together via tile laying. Players perform blind bids each turn to get the first pick on the tile of their choice from the common pool, which has a number of tiles equal to the player count for that game. Each bid card also triggers an ability when played. One allows the player to manually add a tavern to his tile this turn. Two sends out an extra beta testing key so the player's party is larger by one during the gameplay phase. Three allows the player to take back all his bid cards and cause other designers to place their tiles face down. Four adds an extra tile choice for the player during his turn. Five allows the player to swap positions for any two of his previously placed tiles. Six lets the player manually add a shrine to his tile this turn. If players clash during a blind bid, they go last regardless of their bid number and their abilities do not trigger. Between them, their turn order remains the same as the previous turns. Players do have two hacks available each game. During a clash, players may hack to keep their numbers instead of going last and their abilities still trigger too. In the gameplay phase, it becomes a reverse resource management as players take on the role of the playtesting party and play through the very level they just designed. At each tile, they must choose one of the three hero types to resolve that location. In this example, the player can choose to kill off one fighter in his party, or two mages, or three healers. In the event of an X, the player must kill off all of that hero type in his party. He must have at least one hero to kill though, and cannot choose to resolve an X if there is no death. The game ends when all parties have either reached the end of their level safely or been wiped out. Points are given out based on the number of end goal conditions each player has fulfilled, as well as connecting long chains of similar tile types. Players also score points for having killed more heroes and having a level with higher difficulty. But be warned, they do not score these points if their party gets wiped. So designing a really tough level means absolutely nothing if there are no survivors. On the other hand, Designing a really easy level could cause a player to have low score. The trick is to balance and push the difficulty as high as possible without killing the entire party of playtesters.